I'm Justin, reporting live from Metro Weekly, and I'm here with Sion Fleur. How are you tonight? I'm fantastic, baby. Thank you so much for having me. You look amazing. Your makeup, your outfit, you. everything just looks so wonderful. How do you prepare? How do I prepare which part? <laughs> everything. <laughs> One at a time, I swear. Head first, weeks ago. Catsuit, weeks ago. Boots, months ago. <laughs> this is the first one I ever, ever made. And for example, just to show you what I mean, like, this is the beginning stages of the idea. How did you get involved with this project called 50faggots.com? How did you get involved with this documentary? Basically, short and sweet, Randy saw me performing in Chicago, where I live, where I'm from. Hey, Chicago. Mwah. We connected after the performance, and he mentioned the idea, and I just said yes without knowing, without grasping the concept, without having any idea of how big it could get. Many, 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 many years ago, a lonely Randall Jensen found himself in Washington, D.C. He felt that I'd be a very good representation of the goal of the series as well as sort of uh, Washington, D.C. The, the typical gay man in D.C., um, it's, not as, it's not as like hush-hush as you would think at all. It's, I mean, everyone's gay, like I said. Um, there's night and day. What you'll notice is that everyone's extremely educated, so it does sort of create for like slight arrogance in most of the men in this city. I just hope that people here might loosen up a little bit and realize that it's okay to, to like go out looking like this and, and sort of be yourself. People love me for being all crazy and like super feminine here, but at the same time, I, I think people kind of hate it. Um, so I'm really hoping that people will consider just opening themselves up a little bit. I've known Randy, the director, for quite some time, and I know that he was doing a project. Since then, it's just been taking off, and it's amazing. The response is incredible. I mean, I, I words cannot express how excited I am. I'm just really out there to show who I am. And if it does make a statement and it does help, then so be it. I mean, more power to it, but that isn't my purpose. What do you think audiences will get from this? I really hope that they get a clear understanding of the diversity that's within our community. 50faggots.com gives you an idea of what it's like to go into the hearts and minds and lives of effeminate gay men. You'll see it's not just um, these crazy big energetic effeminate characters. It's like sort of like the story of our lives and sort of a lot of our stories are equal, equally relative to your lives. I've learned to embrace who we are and, and be proud to be what we are and what we do. So I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic of being part of the first cast. Come on, behind every great person is a faggot. <laughs>